Hey Glam Fam, it's Linwood here with my beautiful daughter Aloysius Beauregard. <laughs> Alexandria Clothes Oh, fine. Alexandria Darkest. I ordered this brush off of Amazon. Uh, I don't know what the, it's Yakala, something like that. Yakala? Yakala? I don't know. But I was like, you know what, this is interesting and I feel like some people might be interested in it because if it does what it says it does, it should make for a really easy time with straightening hair. So basically, it's supposed to be a straightening brush where like the bristles on the inside here heat up and like you just brush through the hair and it smooths the hair out. Um, it does have an LCD display, and from what I read on there, it says it has a 60 second automatic heat up. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the power button to turn it on. It started out at 360 degrees. The pamphlet here says that it goes from 180 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 450. Don't do that. Um, Cause yeah, we don't need that type of temperature in our lives. By the way, Zan's hair was shampooed, what was it yesterday? Um. I think it might have been yesterday or Friday. Okay, so yesterday, the day before, she braided it up herself last night. Look at her growing up, trying yeah. to become an old woman who's about to move out the house or whatever. And um, I'm not even 18. You said that I would have to move out whenever I'm 18. Oh, I, I bumped it up. I'm at 18 months. Dude, so you're kind I of have past been two. old enough. Way older than that. So we're gonna go ahead and detangle starting at the ends. Um, the way that I do this, I just grip really tightly here, and that way I can detangle beginning here at these ends. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and work up to just above the mid shaft, and I'm gonna brush out again. That way we're not causing a ton of discomfort. I am using a Denman, a classic Denman brush, and that way I can get through here. I like the bristles here, because they do tend to be a little bit more flexible as well. Um, but yeah, and then from there, we're just gonna go ahead and go on up, holding this hair stretched and going on through here. The only thing in her hair right now is a little bit of golden jojoba oil. And we like it golden because it's bougie. Isn't that right, Zan? Damn, you stop that. I don't even know what it means. You know you love to be bougie. I don't know what bougie means. Mushy? Was, What's mushy? I said bougie. I don't know. It did come with a glove, which I'm assuming was supposed to be for heat protection. Um, but these type of gloves, just, it's like a basically a winter glove, so I'm not gonna use it for that. Yeah, that. It feels warm enough, so let's see what's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and part off here. We're gonna lift that up, and Zan, let me have you tilt your head just a little bit here, okay? Okay, and I'll bend my there. Look at you, thinking ahead. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the brush. We're gonna insert and begin to slide on down the shaft of this hair. Apparently we should have detangled a little bit stronger before we started, huh, Zan? Yes, that hurts. Okay, so we've got that. We're gonna go in again. You ready? Mm-hmm. Placing that there. Do you feel any heat? Mm-hmm, I feel some heat. Um, and the heat is kind of scaring me. Uh, is it? Yeah, I don't want it to accidentally... Like burn your mustache? No, burn my ear. Oh. Okay, so... We got a little bit of sleekness in there. Let's see what happens if I end up taking a bit of a thicker section because from the looks of it, it's just not really going through much there. And I'm gonna turn this temperature up a bit. Okay, so I've got that whole section to tangle. I'm gonna put it with the underneath section so that we can see if with a little bit more heat in a larger section, if that's gonna help out. So we're gonna go ahead and just go through here. So then, how does it feel? A bit hotter than last time. Okay, well that makes sense, so I turned the temperature up. How else does it feel? Well, I do feel a little bit of pulled underneath the hair in that thing. That makes sense, okay. How else does it feel? Will you please stop that? How rude. This is the section once we've pressed through it, which, turn a bit for me please. It's giving me a little bit of smoothness. I'm not seeing a ton of like, oh my goodness, you know, like, I feel like if you're just trying to get a bit more smoothness, like let's say for instance, you have some straight extensions that you want to smooth out, or if you have wavy hair maybe. And I mean, her hair is coily, but it was already pre-stretched. Um, but you definitely want to make sure that you have that hair really well detangled prior to doing that. So, I don't know, to me it's a bit different because I feel like 
it's not like an iron where you're pressing the hair between there. It's gliding through these bristles. So the way heat is applied on there is a bit different altogether. The thing that's nice is like it's really difficult to burn yourself because of the fact that the outside bristles don't have a heat source on there, the bottom part of the bristles here don't have a heat source on there. So even though it's on right now, and mind you, like I turned the temperature up again. So right now it's on 400 degrees and like it's not like nothing. So yeah, that's nice. All right, so we're gonna try this again. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and place on in here. Slowly gliding down. Taking 15 ever. Taking 15,000 years. Indeed. It's really more of like a blown out texture than anything else. So if you're one that doesn't like that super bone straight hair, then yeah, it's gonna be good for that. I would not say like, if you're expecting this to be like the end all be all of my hair is straight, I didn't even have to flat iron it. This is not what that tool is for, clearly. But if you're looking to do like stretch styles, things like that, which we do pretty often on Zan, um, or just making it easier for little people like this one who are trying to learn how to do their hair, it could help out with that. Speaking of which, so Zan, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and detangle this section here, okay? Okay. And then I'm gonna give you the brush and let you try it out and see what you think. Okay? Okay. Cock right. So why don't you tell everyone how old you are now, Zan? It's been like 12 years since I last saw you. Well, I'm nine, and my sister is going on five. Okay, so you're like a college graduate now. No. Ugh, how good. Okay, so here's the brush. Now you're gonna have to stretch the hair and then brush through, okay? So take all this here, and brush through. Um, how, how do I see? Doing a good job going nice and slow so you can get through there. Okay. There we go. No, it looks like you actually did a better job getting it smooth than me. So congratulations, you're now a hairstylist. I'll see you later. <laughs> How do you feel like that went for you? It was actually pretty easy peasy. Okay, so fantastic. You're now responsible for doing your own hair for the rest of forever, and I'll see you here. Okay, great. And you didn't burn yourself, which is a plus. I did feel just a little bit of heat on my finger. That's okay. But did you die though? No. Okay, that's what counts. Go ahead and turn. Look at my baby doing a good job on whatever. Don't be trying to show me up though, because you can't get adopted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to finish going through her hair, and then we'll come back. We'll give you final thoughts. And I'm pretty sure Zan's final thoughts is going to be, Oh my god, my dad is so amazing. I'm like handsome or whatever. That's how you talk, right? Dad. I never say that. And Maybe I you should start. And don't talk like that all the time. <laughs> Jeez, is that really how long my hair is? Yeah, like you thought you was bald headed, huh? Yes, because you at least like cut off two inches of my hair. I did recently cut off two inches of your hair, yes. That's because you're learning how to do your hair, but you just rip your brush through your hair and you don't sometimes do it correctly and it causes a lot of split ends. And so yeah, we had to trim it to keep the split ends from getting worse. But if I hadn't let you start learning how to do your hair, while your hair would be longer, you would not know how to do your hair. And at some point, I need you to know how to do your hair so you can get out. Hey, you get out. I can't get out. I'm the one that pays for the house. Fine. <laughs> What's that silver stuff for over there? It's to help reflect and bounce light back. Oh. Travel along the way. Doesn't make much sense to me because that's facing this way and it ain't bouncing off the wall going over there because there ain't no silver stuff over here. When did you get this country? Mm -hmm. I'm just crazy. And soon I'm gonna become a junior teenager. A junior teenager? Mm -hmm. Do they make like jerseys? Um, how dare you? You said your hair feels like what? A blanket. Your hair feels like a blanket? Yes. Feel it. Mm -mm, no. Yes, it does. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and brush out that side. I'm gonna sit over here and kick off my shoes and relax my feet. Party on down to the XKP. Just kick it. Just kick it. 
Just kick it. Look at you brushing from the ends and moving your way up. Oh my goodness, it's like your parents' hairstylist or something. Stop it, Daddy. Because I know you and Mama met at that hairstylist school place. Hairstylist school place? You know, that little high school for you guys to learn how to do your own hair and learn how to do a stylish. I don't even know what you're saying. You're so country. I have no idea what you're saying. I need a translator. Okay. Go ahead and go get yourself one. No, they cost too much money. I'm just going to be confused and they'll get you a nod my head. Oh, why don't you go ahead and get a maid for it then? When, when did maids start translating country speech? How dare you? Not never. That's when. I'm just going to chill over here and, and take a seat. So, tell us, what are you doing now, Alexandria? Explain to the audience what you're doing. Like, how are you supposed to take over the channel or the family dynasty of hair? If you don't explain to... Why are you looking at me? You're supposed to look at them. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. I'm brushing up another part of my hair. You start from the bottom. Now we here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Oh, sorry, go ahead. And you work your way up. And you gotta make sure that you get all the tangles out of your hair so that whenever you use the heating brush that it doesn't tangle up and hurt. And you gotta be pretty careful with what you're doing and you gotta take it at a slow pace. Whenever you're using the heating brush. So what you're saying is, you started from the bottom, now you're here. You started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Stop it. Okay, now you're switching over to the Yakala brush. The heat brush. Uh, okay. And you carefully take it down. I mean, I personally feel like I'm learning stuff from your tutorial right now. What else can you tell me? Well... My dad taught me how to do this, and it's not very tangled. Oh, it's still, it's not detangled well enough? Okay, yeah. so you gotta go through there and smooth that out. So basically, don't, you do don't want people to yank the hot brush through their hair, you want them to go in and correctly detangle? Yes. Oh, okay. To make sure that there is no pain or crying, ugh. That would be weird if you saw one that was all grown up. Okay. Speaking of you. Speaking of me, oh, so seeing grown-ups cry is weird? Yes. I told you that yesterday. What if seeing kids cry is weird? It ain't. Because they kids, and whenever they babies, they cry because they don't know how to talk. Well, you know they how to talk and you cry? Only whenever I get upset. So adults can't get upset? That feels really ageist. So because I'm like 7,000 years old, I can't get upset. So you do get upset. What if I'm just sweating from my eyeballs? Dude, it ain't called sweating from your eyeballs. It's called crying. I don't know. It's... Plus you're a grown old man. <laughs> okay, Rapunzel or whatever. I see you over here brushing out all your weave. Okay, I'm tired of this ring trying to take home up my hay. Ugh. Up your what? Your hay? What is hay? My hair. Oh, your hair. Oh, okay. I just don't understand where some of this situation started. It got stuck again? Maybe, again. maybe you gotta detangle in smaller subsections. I'm crazy. I guess my question is, do you feel like this is pretty easy for you? Do you feel like this is challenging for you? A little bit challenging, just a tinky bit. Okay. Is it something that you feel like is so hard that you'd be like, uh uh, don't nobody else do this or No. It's actually quite fun. And Educated for those who are young and learning how to do their hair by watching our channel. Oh, that's Thank good. you very much. Oh, you're welcome very much. Ugh, again? I'm tired Tell of this. What, I think that maybe it would help if you move that stuff you're not working on right now out of the way. And when you brush through, we gotta brush all the way through to where you feel those bristles brushing onto your hand on the other side. Ow. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have gripped a little tighter. Do you? Here, let me fix it. I'm just brushing your mustache. It's not that big a okay. deal. I have to detangle my mustache sometimes I will burn too. You. Uh, I don't think you want the consequences of burning me, girl. You don't want yourself embarrassed on camera like that. Try it now.
So the key is probably like really detangling well. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get underneath. Look at you being thorough or whatever. I. Also, you can burn yourself with it. Okay, so what'd you learn? You need to be careful. Gotta be careful, it's hot. Ugh. Okay, so. I think it may have ripped some of this or something. Okay. Because whenever I was on my way down, come to it, wait, it began tangling up. I see. Indeed. You can't find the tangles, huh? No. Hmm. No way. They're like ghost tangles. Tangles? Yeah, it's like tangled. You can't find them, but then when you go to rush through, they're like, "Ooh, I'm gonna leave you." <laughs> You're so weird. Ugh. Yep, them ghost tangles. Ouch. Okay, hold on. That hair hard. So yes, it is. So when you're going through there and you're brushing, remember last time you got to feel those bristles on your hand? Mhm. Mm you want to go through there and brush, brush until you feel those bristles on the palm of your hand. Now, start back where you left off. Don't start from the top. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All yours. All right, Zan, so go ahead and let people know what are your final thoughts on this brush? Well, I think it worked out pretty well mm -hmm. in that my theory was kind of right and kind of not right because it's still kind of curly. The curliness can't really leave my hair because that's my natural type. Mm -hmm. But I kind of like it in both ways. Curly, very hard to detangle. Ugh. Brushes always get tangled up in my hair. In your, in your hair? Hair! I, I really need you to pronounce that R. It's, you know, you keep on saying hey. Country. I mean, country is different. Like, country would be hair, but that hay is like something, that's what horses eat. Do horses eat your hair? Stop it. You're the one who said it. So my final thoughts on it is like if you are uh, if you are looking for something that's going to just kind of knock out the kinks in your hair, like let's say for instance you've got on a straight wig, you have naturally wavy hair, or you're just looking for that blown out look, then this tool will be good for you. Uh, I would not use it as a straightener because as you can see, it really gives you more of that blown out texture if you have uh, naturally more kinky hair. Now we did start with Zan's hair air dried uh, in braids just so that way uh, we weren't putting a massive degree of heat on there and we also learned some different experiences about how to take care when we're using heat which is a plus. Yes um, and I read somewhere in a girl's book mm -hmm. that your hair could not take that much heat. If it does it can be very badly damaged. That's very true. Um, so stay away from 450 degrees because we don't even bake cookies at that temperature. All of that being said, we're going to leave the link in the description box down below if you're interested in purchasing this brush. I'm trying to remember how much this cost. Let me look this up on Amazon real quick so I can let you know the price. Why not just look at the box? It's not on the box. They don't do it like that with Amazon. Oh. So let me see here. I'm going to go to my waters. Let me go to my waters. And din 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 Yes. Okay. Still loading. And din -a din -a din -a din -a din okay, so currently the price on this is thirty-five dollars. Um, hey, thirty-five. Yeah, well, thirty-four ninety-nine. That's thirty-five. But I'm gonna contact the company and see if I can get a discount code. If so, I'll put it in the description box down below, and we'll see what we can make happen. Long story short, if you like the brush, go ahead and check it out and get it. Um, let us know your thoughts down below, and let us know how you think Zan did on her first mini tutorial. How do you think you did? I think I actually did pretty great. Okay. I have done one of these before with a Moana wig and a Rapunzel wig, mm -hmm. which was way years before. Mm -hmm. I don't even think we were in this house. Maybe, maybe not. It's hard to tell. We were in this house with both of those, yes. Mm. Well. It's been a long periodically time. Yes. So until next time, you guys, from my beautiful daughter, Aloysius Beauregard. Alexandria and Clotilde Darkest. For my beautiful daughter, Aloysius Alexandria, um, and myself, Linwood. Um, <laughs> Ew, we don't say that name. Anywho, <laughs> until next time, you guys, take care, God bless, and stay glam. And you know. We love you, boo. <laughs> Bye. Bye.